I don't touch as of rep member. He has apologized. But to me, that apology is not enough. He also need to compensate the guy. Okay, you mean the trauma, the headache made that slap cause that guy, the humiliation, not just for free. You don't ever see where the slap person wants for free. There is a competition that is sponsored by UFC where people slap each other to get paid. You know how much they make? Now you give this guy still a slap without even paying him. Well, according to him, he said, Hi, Honorable Alex. No, they call yourself Honorable again. Just say, Hi, Alex. Member of the House of Representatives wish to address a deeply disturbing incident that occurred at my residence recently. A video has surfaced showing me engaging in an unaccepted behavior towards an Uber driver who came to deliver a way B for me. I am deeply sorry for my action and knowledge that and acknowledge that they were unacceptable and unbecoming of a public officer. You know me, I want me police go further, investigate that package me they deliver. <laughs> Somebody if they investigate that package well, me they deliver because you know understand I ask a friend member go use chair, sit down for our side. They wait for a package. They need to investigate that package very, very well. It might be something illegal. I don't know. Somebody told me maybe it might be drugs or something, something. So police need to go further and investigate which kind of package that guy go deliver to a house of rep member. May sit down for outside the gate, the way for package. You should know that package is very, very important. To another reason, I go that side. Well, he continues, he said, as a public servant, I recognize the trust placed in me by my constituents and the Nigerian people. My behavior fell short of the standard expected of me, and for that, I am truly sorry. I understand that my action have caused harm and embarrassment to the driver, my constituencies, and the nation at large. I want to assure the public that I am fully cooperating with the Nigeria police investigation into this matter and I support their effort to ensure that justice is served and that those responsible are held accountable. You, you are apologizing and at the same time saying justice should be served. Those responsible should be held accountable. This kind of apology be that, my brother and sister. Can somebody make me understand the kind of apology? You slap somebody, you are apologizing for your behavior. And at the same time, you are saying investigation and those responsible guilty should be held accountable. You already pleaded guilty. All you needed to do is to ask the police to let go of that matter and seek for, for a meeting, face-to-face -face meeting with the Uber driver apologize publicly to that Uber driver, not just text message, and compensate him from your salary. From your salary, compensate him for the slap. That's what you should have done. You are still saying investigation. Then he also said, I also appreciate the swift Condemnation of my action by my party and the Nigeria police, demonstrating our collective commitment to upholding the law and protecting the right of all citizens. You may you tell say you want to make Percy disappear. You should also write an undertaking that if anything happened to that guy, they should hold you responsible. Because you already threatened to make that person disappear. It might be that after the apology, you may also do exactly what you said, that you will make the guy disappear. Because in Nigeria, people can actually disappear without even seeing them. So the guy needs to safeguard his life to make sure you write an undertaking in case if he disappears, they should hold you responsible as well. Somebody you slapped, you say you are a common driver. You slept over it. You came to the station the next day to say you are a common driver. We are not even asking you to come out and give this a kind of ridiculous apology. That, that doesn't come from the heart. All we are asking you is that just be a human for a second. Be a human being. 
be a human being in your heart and say, man, that guy has for no slap him on. But I bet you, you cannot. You no go fit. You no go fit. Be a human being for a second. If you apologize, that's a big game. No be Nigeria. Forget them. They are on the day their body. Now me, they want to take cash cruise. That's exactly what they're going to say. Then he continues to say, Commitment to charge. You say, I am taking immediate step to address the undying issue that led to the incident. I am seeking professional counseling to ensure that such behavior never happen again. Additionally, I will be engaging in community service in ETAC focus on promoting respect, empathy, and understanding. <laughs> he said, Go seek professional counseling to ensure that such behavior no will happen again. We don't believe in such thing. In America, you can say that to citizens and they will believe you that you will seek professional counseling. We don't believe in such thing in this country. We just believe you are matured. And if you are mature, you should know how to treat people right. You have not said talk about compensation. No. Call to action. I urge all Nigeria to join me in promoting a culture of respect, toler tolerance, and understanding. We must work together to build a society where everyone is treated with dignity and respect. Thank you for your understanding, and I hope that you will join me in this journey towards healing and growth. We are you passing through any circumstances before that you want to hear, we will not join you. And some of us see things, eh? You are just forming it. Well, like me, self, I think say this thing no come out from your mouth. I want to hear compensation. I want to hear calling for how can you slap somebody and you apologize to Nigeria? Call this guy and apologize. Have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, even video him and say, I'm sorry, guy. Eh? No worry. Compensation. In Nigeria, we believe in compensation. This not be, not be abroad, be this one. Carry your, your sorry to yourself. Call, don't, don't say sorry to us. Call that guy and apologize one on one and compensate him for that slap. I told you, there's a UFC sponsored event, sponsored sport, that they slap people for money. Yes, people don't just get slapped nowadays for free. They slap people and people get paid for getting slapped. So please, you have to pay that guy. Hmm? You have to pay that guy. Immediately pay that guy. Hmm? Well, Nigerians, he has apologized. Do you accept the apology? You know, very dark man, right petition. So very dark man, will you and this guy, Steven, that's his name. Don't forget the name of the guy who brought about this thing, Steven. Will you and Steven withdraw the petition? against this guy. You know, we are not still heard from very dark man. Always kind of like represented the guy. So we're still going to hear from him later to know if indeed the guy accept the apology or not. But then again, let us just dance around the story. You know, somebody said the guy was framed. <laughs> and again, the House of Representatives has started an investigation on the incident involving him. So they are able looking. Maybe they might able suspend him. The House of Rep might even suspend Alex. They are able looking at that. That is a possibility as well. Then someone said, someone said because he posted this video as at uh, last year, December, and he said waiting for Uber. Someone said, Alex, mascot known how to act outside Nigeria. Look at him waiting for a Uber in the bro in, in abroad. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, the Uber driver must come into his living room and pick him up or he will make them disappear. Look at him. He said he's waiting for Uber driver. But for Nigeria, you see me Uber driver go deliver the thing put for inside your mouth. <laughs> well, so to end this video, there is this disturbing video that was uh, posted online recently. The person who posted it said, Residents in Kaduna were seen collecting spilled packets of spaghetti and noodles from a capsized trailer. Hunger in the midst 
of abundance. A rich country inhabited by poor people. When Nigerians are truly ready, they will return to their cornerstone the ones rejected. The thing was really, really disturbing, guys. Well, it is not new to us. We have seen people scooping foil. Spaghetti, yes, you can scoop spaghetti, dust it up and eat it. But it will not lead to you dying. It might cause you some serious illness, so people might even buy. But if people can scoop foil from a falling trailer, you will know, say, if any light enter like this, you are done. People still rigs their life to scoop it anyway. So this one is not, it's not a surprise to me. Hunger day, hunger day, hunger day, hunger day, hunger day, hunger day. Well, let's see what we have, guys. Thank you guys for watching, boy. Get link. Catch you next time.